Look what finally came in the mail. My Michaela Pot 2 Glam Light Palette. So this is, if you don't know Michaela, she is huge on TikTok. I only learned, well, okay, I've known about her stuff for a long time, but it took me a while to get on the makeup algorithm. For a while, it was just filled with dogs, cats, and black pink stuff on my TikTok. But I finally, in the last few months, broke into makeup. And yeah, I mean, I fell in love with Michaela just like all of you guys. So I decided to pick up the volume two. Now, I actually do have the first palette that came out. I didn't know her so well when this first palette launched so i didn't pick it up at launch date but i did pick it up when it was on sale for black friday and i didn't end up using it until pot 2 was revealed and i was like okay i want to get the second palette so let me actually use my first palette so i spent the last like three or four weeks using this whenever i could so i've done a handful of looks with this palette so i have background knowledge of this one and i have to say the first palette's definitely going to be more my speed but i am still excited to just play with this so if you haven't checked her out i definitely recommend it for those of you who tell me you refuse to download tiktok i believe she posts all of her short videos on youtube as well as youtube shorts so you can check them out over there she's very very funny definitely very entertaining and she does very crazy dramatic looks she's so talented i also love how she has millions of followers and she chose to collaborate not once but twice with an independent brand who obviously is now much larger because of her. I can tell over the years the evolution that they've made and especially ever since the Michaela palette, they've really amped up all of their collections. I'm even more interested in the brand now that I've tried the palette that I have right here. So let's take a look. I didn't buy everything in the collection. The only thing that I picked up was the palette. Not everything is sold out. The PR box is sold out, but you can still get the palette. You can actually get both of these in a bundle for $65. There's a highlighter that you can get. There's a 10 pound palette that I didn't pick up that's sold out right now. So some things are sold out, some are still available, but the palette is still available. The palette itself is going to be $42. This is the box box that it comes in and then here is Michaela in the back wearing a sick green look and then here's the packaging it's the same packaging as the first palette but obviously a different color and now it's filled with gold flakes which I think is so luxe how cute I love it though I thought something was broken in my box when I heard this shaking before I opened it up and here's what the palette looks like itself it is a 30 color palette and it's kind of insane it's definitely a lot more dramatic than the first palette just for me color story preference wise the first palette is definitely more my speed lots of purples still a good amount of neutrals here this time Michaela definitely went all out with the green but it's like super dark green even though green is my color this time of year it's quite dramatic so it's gonna be interesting this is like the smoky sexy sister to the first palette so here are the lights down so that you can really see definitely much more smoky now what stood out to me about the first palette are the shimmer shades I think glam light has such a striking unique shimmer formula i will say they do crease so make sure you prep good but i'm excited about this i'm just gonna do two looks we're just gonna play but first let's swatch let's see what we're working with okay so we're gonna work down this way just in this pattern here we go glazed gorgeous sparkly not me trying to use her accent poppin dreams insane oh that is insane Cloud Nine. I mean, these are such rich, pretty jewel tones she has in this palette. Glitter 11, 20, 21. Gold AF. So up to this point, we have all shimmers. And this is why I really like Glam Light's formula and looks on the eyelid. It's because of how microfine the glitters are, which makes it really easy to create a look because you just need like one to two crease colors and then you put one of these shades all over the lid and you're set to go. And then matte wise, we have Bro. Here's another shimmer. Stobbies. I think that's supposed to be Starbucks. I don't know. That's a pretty like purpley brown. Beauty Kills. Not this exposing the hair on my arms. <laughs> 13. Fall River, Grateful, wow, this all over the lid, right? Cody James, 
This is the market. I think I might have swatched that twice. Wait, I think I skipped a shade. This is supposed to be grateful, which is a little lighter. I accidentally went in twice with the market. Anyways, the commons is right here. Mama Wing and Pat Rice. Lots of greens, very heavy. Ooh, but these look so nice with the green tones. Oh my god. That's right up my alley, if you know me. Mimu, Batty, and Authenticity. Okay, so this is all the room I have on this arm. There's only one row, which are like the blues. But you can kind of see how crazy it is. Everything's so much beautiful. So far, I'm very, very happy. Such rich, deep tones, so be ready for that. Okay, let's work our way on the very last row. This is I Love You. Wow, that's going to be fun paired with the green. No hash lines. 2021. Wicked Awesome. You. Oh, wow. And Blackest Black, which that looks pretty black. So this is the final blue row, which is going to be fun to play with as well. Again, did you see how pigmented this was? Okay. I'm using my Kaleidos Tone Activator as my primer. We're going to start off with this eye. I'm going to do two different looks. Now, I don't know that this video is necessarily like a full-blown review. There's 30 eyeshadows in this palette. I simply just can't use every shadow to warrant this as a review. Yeah, I would say it's more of just a sit down, hang out, play with pretty eyeshadows with me kind of sesh, you know? So I'm using my BK Beauty brush. What is this? I love it. The A506. I'm gonna use that to blend out the eyelid. I don't even know where to go. I just wanna like get the richest, deepest eyes with this palette because the rich tones are so good. I'm gonna use some of these Sydney Grace brushes, which unfortunately I don't know the names for because they are not on the handles. They were on the plastic that they came in, but I didn't know that and I like pulled the plastic off and then I realized that's where the names were, Morgan. But they're super duper soft. So it's like, do I want to go monochromatic? Most of the looks that I've been seeing Michaela do, most of them were like monochromatic styles. Like she would do a deep purple look, deep blue, green looks like that. So I'm thinking for my first look, let's do something purpley blue. And then the second look, we can play with the greens since there are so many options. So I'm going to start off with Mama Wang right here. And I'm going to just put this on the inner third of the crease. Nothing crazy. Guys, if my eyes weren't so sensitive, I definitely would have done more looks, but I can't take off my makeup multiple times in a day. It like absolutely kills my eyes. Okay, let's go in with Mimu next. You know, since it's 30 colors, I don't know how much of a gradient we exactly needed because you can get a color kind of like this if you mix these two. But also at the same time, I do think that just makes it generally easier to blend. Oh, you know what? Maybe that Pat Rice color was actually more neon. I do love palettes with a lot of colors though. I really like the Glam Light mattes. And you know, I only have experience thus far with the part one palette, but I have not had any issues with the mattes. I'm going back into the lighter lilac shade. Yeah, this palette is not for the faint of heart. Like you're gonna get color if you use this palette. Let's go into authenticity now. I'm just using the same brush through all of this. This is a really deep color that I think would be so cool if you used it as, you know, like an eyeliner. But I'm gonna press it in the outer corner. I was going pretty light-handed, but I've now just decided to just press it down. And then we'll clean up after since I don't have any concealer on yet. So I'm pressing that down. Yeah, and when you press it down like this, as opposed to using the sweeping and tapping what I was doing earlier, you definitely get instant depth. Blending the edges, taking a clean brush. Again, cleaning up the edges. Take the color out far. We're going to clean it up anyways. All right, and then next we're going to go into Wicked Awesome down here. This shade can be difficult for brands to create, so let's see. I'm going to put it right almost on top of Authenticity and kind of blend those two together. And this is going to start the merge of blue in this look. And they're all just blending together so nicely. And then we really want to get the depth in here. I have to play with the blackest black. That's a big claim. I'm just going to circle it right in the outermost corner, though. Not doing anything too crazy. And then we're going to build it out. Okay, so this shade right here looked pretty insane. You. So I'm going to take just a little bit on my finger. Not a lot. And I'm going to start to create the ombre of 
the shimmer now on the inner corner. So I just want a little bit of this to make it more of a seamless transition. So just like that right there in the center, very, very deep. Now we're gonna use I Love You. Going to put this in the inner third of the lid. Insane, right? Absolutely insane. Lastly, I'm gonna go into poppin' right here because it has a little bit of a blue shift. I wanna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna pop this in the inner corner, then I'm blending it out over I Love You, just like this. That's gonna create a lighter to darker ombre. Oh, this makes me not want to create another look because I want this on both eyes. It's so pretty. I'm gonna clean up and put on some concealer and then I'm pretty much just gonna repeat the lower lash line. Start off with purple everywhere, the dark colors out here, and then the dark colors out here. So I'll be back. For the lower lash line on this look, I literally use the exact same crease colors and matte colors down here. I did not use the dark blue shimmer on the lower lash and I just used I Love You, which is the light blue, and then Pop In, which is the lightest shade on the lower lash line. And this look is pretty insane. Wait till we get lashes down, but I did just want to do this eye next and we gotta play with the greens. So this is gonna be like a monochromatic money look, okay? So we're gonna start off with bro right here. I'm just picking random shades, no rhyme or reason. And bro, I'm just going to blend everywhere, all over the crease. I normally prefer a lighter color than this for the first shade, but we're just gonna go for it. And I'm keeping the layer light. I'm not building up the pigment too much. So what I'm noticing with these mattes is you can really customize how much color you want. If you just use a little bit, you can get a sheer layer like this, or if you pack it on, you can get that full opacity that you see in the pan, which I really like that aspect personally. Next, let's go into Cody James. This is her fiance, if you don't know. This is kind of like a blue-green shade. More green than blue, but it has some pop in there. And I'm starting it off in the outer corner. We're gonna blend it inwards. And I actually do want the crease pretty dark, so don't be afraid to pack it on in here. I was gonna do a halo eye with this look, but I've decided against it, because I want to put multiple shimmers on my eyelid and them to be decipherable. Which I could put multiple shimmers on my eyelid for a halo eye, but there's a lot less room because I don't have the most eyelid space in the world. So I wanna be able to really see the impact that each shade has. Nice buildable formula here. But I am gonna that dark color right in the inner corner though. I'm not worried about keeping it too light. Okay, I've been dying to try out this shade. This is the Commons. Definitely has a lot of blue in there, but I feel like this is going to really pack on a lot of smoke to this look. Honestly, I've just decided in this exact moment, I want it to take over the entire outer half of my eyelid. Now it's requiring a lot of dipping back into the pan. That's just because I'm using a blending brush and not a packer brush. So I'm starting it off like this. Got a lot of depth from that. And then let's work on these corners now. Get these edges out. And it's happening pretty easily that these colors are working out. Going back into a little bit more of Cody James just to get the edges. And we're not done. I'm still gonna use just a touch of blackest black. We're gonna get that nice and smoky. Wow, that was just a little bit. Okay, it is quite a black black. Really get that smoke. I was inspired by the look, by the way, on the back of this box. It's not gonna be exactly like that. That's not my style of makeup. But that dark, smoky, green, monochromatic vibe is what inspired me. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this edge to blend out. Like right here, you'll see, but that happens with all eyeshadows. So it's my eyelids, not the palette. I think that's good. Let's get into the greens and we have a lot to choose from. <sighs> I want to do insane as kind of the centerpiece. So let's start off with grateful. Kind of same technique as the other eye. Grateful is going right in the center of the eyelid. Ooh, if you put this just all over the entire lid, that would be so pretty, right? But I need to see what this insane shade is all about. She looks like that. Okay. This is going to add a golden element as well. Ooh. Insane. Yep. Just as it said. <gasps> wow. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit more of insane on the brush. And I'm kind of doing a little cut crease style with it. Obviously not real cut crease. Not super sharp. 
just using the shadow to create that edge. So pretty. And then I'm going back into Grateful, kind of filling in down here. This is like a royal look. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go into a little bit of Gold AF with a brush. It's a gold shade. And these shades don't pick up that well on a brush. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to pop that in the inner corner, just like that. And I'm going to get it along the edges of my brush. And see if we can carry the gold just a little bit above, just right on the edges of the fake cut crease we have. Just creating a little bit more contrast. It doesn't actually need to be super pigmented, but just having the golden particles in there are going to work as more contrast when the light hits for the cut crease effect. That is absolutely insane. Okay, so for lower lash line, I'm just going to get all of these mattes along the lower lash line. I'm going to use this green along the lower lash line in the center, and then the insane shade in the inner corner. Wow, crazy. I'm going to clean this up as well. Mmm, you can get some really stunning looks with this palette. Okay, I'll be back. Here is a close-up of the makeup with lashes, all of everything that I'm wearing down below. I mean, these looks are insane. This palette, if you like smoky eyes, rich, jewel-toned eyes, glimmery, shimmery eyeshadow shades, this is this is it for you. I would say the pot two palette definitely isn't for me, color story-wise, something I'm going to reach for quite as much as the Part 1 palette. But I mean, this is an insane palette. I think the quality on this is really good. Just something to note about Glam Light Shadows in general. Their mattes are buildable. They're easy to blend. The shimmers, though, while beautiful as they are, make sure you prep your eyelids properly because they do crease. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it. I think the quality that you get for the price is really great. If you're looking for my recommendation, I mean, generally, speaking I'm reaching for part one more because you have more color stories in here you have browns oranges purples a little bit of greens pops of color here whereas in the new palette stunning as it is I mean you have blue purple green it kind of sticks on that side of the color wheel which is not a bad thing I'm not knocking it I'm just less likely to reach for it on an everyday basis because I'm not often wearing looks like these. Gosh, I just realized it's getting really dark. There's like horrible storm outside. <laughs> Anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out and playing with the new Michaela eyeshadow palette with me. I mean, so fun. I can't wait to continue using this and seeing what other looks I can get. I definitely don't regret picking this up and I'm happy I have both of them. So let me know down below, did you pick up this palette? Have you tried it yet? I can't wait to see the looks that you guys create. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.